Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to your evening edition of WRMK News 12 Evening Newscast for this Thursday evening. We have a lot of news to get to this evening, so let's get started right now. First up, an update. Rockingham Alert updated. There are currently 42,105 and 24.57 customers without power in Rockingham County. There are currently 159.747 outages statewide. From the New Hampshire State Police, a news release, tractor trailer collides on I-93. The driver of a semi-truck that crashed into another tractor-trailer was cited for driving too fast for the conditions during this morning's snowstorm. At approximately 9.15 a.m., state troopers from Troop B Barracks in Bedford responded to mile marker 2.8 on Interstate 93 southbound in Salem for a crash involving two tractor trailers. Troopers responded and found two tractor trailers entangled with one on its side and off the road in the grass median. Through investigation, troopers determined a white 2023 freight liner PT 126DC, driven by a man from Massachusetts, had passed a second tractor trailer unit on the right and drifted into the right hand breakdown lane before jackknifing and causing causing it in crashing into the second tractor trailer unit. A white 2022 freight liner PT 26 DC, which was being driven by a man from Salisbury, New Hampshire. Both trucks went off the road as a result of the crash and came to rest in the median. There were no reported injuries and traffic was not impacted. One of the drivers was cited for driving too fast for the existing road conditions. And also from the New Hampshire State Police, a news release. Everett Turnpike reopened after sign structure struck. Today at 6.30 a.m., State troopers from Troop B Barracks in Bedford responded to the Everett Turnpike southbound in the area of Exit 4 for a report of a traffic obstruction. Responding troopers arrived to find a white 2023 Western Star 49 flatbed truck carrying a dumpster had been traveling too fast for the existing road conditions, lost control, and crashed into an overhead sign structure. As a result of the crash, the overhead sign became unstable and unsafe to pass under on the southbound side. The driver of the flatbed truck involved the crash was identified a 36-year-old from Massachusetts. He suffered minor injuries and was issued a summons for negligent operating a motor vehicle. The Everett Turnpike southbound was shut down at exit 4 until 11.30 a.m. While crews from the New Hampshire Department of Transportation worked to remove the sign in the flatbed from the roadway, troopers from Troop G also assisted with the crash. From Eversource, New Hampshire. We are grateful for our customers' patience and understanding as hundreds of crews continue to focus on safety while responding to community priorities and working in challenging conditions to restore our 
104,000 without power. And they are working on making progress. And from New Hampshire Homeland Security and Emergency Management. They gave an update at noontime and said the Emergency Operations Center has elevated to a potential activation level in order to support communities that are experiencing damage and power outages from this storm. And we're going to take a look at your weather now. And weather right now is snow showers, 33 degrees, feels like 23 degrees. And the weather for tonight, snow this evening will transition into snow showers, late low, 33 degrees, winds northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour, chance of snow, 80%, snowfall around 1 inch. Tomorrow, cloudy, a shower of rain or wet snow possible, 44 degrees, winds west-northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And that is it for this evening edition of WRMK News 12 Evening Newscast. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Have a great evening and good night.